What's up everybody, it's your boy Project Pag and I'm bringing you my first HD video brought to you by my brand new HodgePodge 1212 HD PVR. I don't need to no longer set up my laptop desk, put boxes on it, then put my flip camera on it and zoom in just to record an HD video. I can now do it very easily with my HodgePodge. What's up Madden fans? Here I'm Ian inviting Cohen. a friend to the game because if I go to play it now, it takes forever to find a game because no one's really around my level. I'm level, I think, 25 and it takes forever and it says I uh, can't find an opponent. So I just invite someone off my friends list and as you saw there, someone joins immediately. My opponent chose heads and he loses because tails never fails. Sometimes, I haven't made it in overtime this year, but I know last year, Madden 10, if whatever coin came up pre-game is the same that would come up in overtime so you might want to you know hold that in the back of your mind just in case but i haven't i personally haven't made it to overtime this year because everyone quits i rarely even make it to the fourth quarter usually my opponents quit like right after halftime or before half here in this video i'm going to teach you guys what i do to prolong news from quitting and because uh, you want to at least make it to the second half to, so you get the ranking points you do get a win if they quit but for me and for a lot of other people you know you want the ranking points so it's discouraging when they quit before half here I'm just uh, gonna line up my defenders to their man I kind of mess up there but then I get it mess up again but then I bring the guy over I mostly always run man-to-man -man defense and that's why I do choose the Raiders because they're the best team at man-to-man -man. they're the, actually the only team that both their safeties could man up against the wide, re wide receivers. I even call nickel 155 to cover five wide receivers all the way down to goal line. And I usually always blitz six, especially against uh, scrambling quarterbacks, especially Vic. When people always like, you know, let Vic run all over them. This year the QB spy is broke. So I just blitz everyone. That's the only way I could, well, that's the only thing I've done successfully to stop Vic. see right here I was like 20 yards back from the ball at 15 20 yards and I see none of his men were open no one he had no one coming over the middle so I saw he was rolling out so I decided to go chase him down luckily I noticed that and so it wasn't that big of a game awesome wall just intercept it and he's gonna take it to the house because of Madden I feel like Osama awesome gets a lot of exposure because in a real game, you don't really see him on the highlight films. And, you know, the Raiders aren't even on TV that much. Their games aren't really televised. Well, at least for me, I, I've lived most on the East Coast uh, my whole life. Now I live in Wisconsin. But because uh, of Madden, he became one of my favorite players. I even bought like a game signed glove by him. And I even have a team signed uh, Raiders football. Of this year because I, I love the Raiders. I played with them last year and this year. Here's another interception by Osamoa. He's a beast. Whenever I see that they're throwing to the uh, wide receiver, they have a wide receiver they keep throwing to, I'll put Osamoa on the defense assignment against that wide receiver to shut them down. Here's my burn and butter play on third and inches. I put QB sneak out of the goal line formation in my audibles and I usually audible to it. I, I, try, I try to do it only when I need to because um, right there I didn't really have to it but uh you know I, I wanted that first down I love these drag routes I motion out my running back and put him on a drag I almost get sacked there but those drag routes turn into big gains this year in Madden the drag routes are probably the most deadly route this year which is kind of unfortunate because you know a drag route shouldn't be and they're actually really hard to defend to defend against it, I recommend like QB spies. Here I hit Murphy over, you know, in a drag route over the middle, but I could have also hit Triangle. He has a blue route and he was wide open also. I love that play. Here, you guys already know what it is. I'm gonna audible to a QB sneak and QB sneak in the end zone. What I what I do here is I uh, shift my own line to block right. And I run right, or if I was gonna go left, I would make him block left, and then I'll, I'll run left. Uh, if your opponent stops you like more than twice, you might want to start thinking about, you know, putting, calling like tosses and stuff. Try to throw off your opponent. Tosses are really deadly when they try to cover the middle of the field. 
here he's rolling now. Sees like six guys chasing him, and he tries to throw across the field to Osmo uh, with another deflection. He has, uh, I think, four deflections and three interceptions this game in only one half, which is really good. Um, probably one of the best games I've ever uh, had with Osmo. I get the ball back that was actually fourth down before, and I'm going to kick a field goal. I don't want my opponent quitting on me. I'm confident I could beat him. Even if I do, you know, have some mistakes, so I kick it on first and ten. This this is a really key play. You know, put the ball back in his hands, even though he's losing. He thinks, he's like, why is my opponent, my opponent, like, kicking a field goal? He must either not know what he's doing, or maybe I still have a chance in this game. There, I'm just blitzing six again, and uh, I, get, I get through to him. Uh, good thing about Blitz and Six is uh, even if he does audible people to block and none and uh, none of your players come through untouched, one of them is bound to come through and shed their block. Uh, after that sack, I get the ball back and I kick it again. A field goal, first and ten. One play is zero seconds off the clock. You know, put the ball back in their hands. You know, make them happy. Make them you know be able to play instead of just trying to run the clock out whenever I try to run the clock out that's when my opponents usually uh, quit so I always like like them you know being in control of the game that was a I don't know I guess he was trying for anything there but that was a pretty dumb play by him throwing it down to Osmo with another deflection there so he, he gets some plays he gets on the field I do let up a lot of yards but it's the turnovers I get that um, you know help me win I, I play man to man that you're bound to your your men are bound to let their you know wide receivers open or mess up and sometimes they do like a little stutter step when they you know ch when your the wide receiver changes directions and leaves the wide receiver wide open but it's the consistency of keep running man to man and not getting frustrated to to really you know get those turnovers is is really what helps me win the game not not I, I let up a lot of yards but i do get these turnovers like you see there get an interception by osmo his third interception because he has two tackles also and four pass deflections R really good first half for him so right here six seconds left i'm just going to run out the clock no if i try anything and if i get a touchdown i know he's going to quit and that's the most discouraging thing to, for your opponent to quit right before the half like with one second left or if you score with zero seconds left and, and you know all you got to do is kick that extra point and then you'll get those ranking points because it'll be the second half and your opponent quits right before that here he presses pause i already know he's going to quit uh he was probably waiting to see if he gets the ball in the second half and he saw i was getting the ball and he doesn't even want to play defense anymore because he knows he's not going to be able to stop me so he quits just like i thought and, and you know, in this video, I you know um, I show you guys what I do to uh, prolong the game. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna come out with a lot more videos with tips, money plays, and you guys could ask questions in the comment section. I'll try to answer them, or even leave comments of things you would like to see in my upcoming videos.